Hey everyone, this is Joe at Archer World. I'm at the Battleground location. And today we're gonna review and talk about the Assassin 400 takedown. Uh, this is the 2022 model that Excalibur just came out with. It's uh, the Weatherby of crossbows right now, if everybody's familiar with that. It's got several features on it, but there's a couple of specific ones that make this bow stand out compared to anyone else. It's got an adjustable um, butt plate that you can adjust the length that you want out to about three and a half inches further if you want to. Uh, the overall length of this bow when everything's tightened up is around 30 inches. Uh, it's got a, a stock uh, cheek plate also that you can adjust back and forth to get where you want. Uh, those are becoming pretty common in a lot of high-end crossbows right now. But the a couple of features this has, uh, one unique one, it's got an integrated cocking system that has no clicks or anything. It's a really, really quiet system. I want to show you that and then we're going to uh, shoot this bow show you some other features as we go so the cool thing is it's got a cocking stick or cocking aid that's going to allow you to integrate it into the handle but to cock it this is the first one of its kind you're going to put unlock the bolt catch and the bolt catch is going to slide all the way forward as soon as it clicks into place it's set now all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cocking aid, you're gonna lock it on. There's a wrist strap that you can use with it too. Most people will primarily use that if they decock it. And you're just gonna put it in crank or engage. Listen to how quiet this is. There's nothing, if I need to take a break, taking a break, there's nothing to go. The brake's on as I go. I'm gonna pull it all the way back until it clicks into place. You're gonna hear it engage. You know you've got it back. It's 14 pounds of cranking force. Soon as it engages, remove my cocking device. Most people will store it right here on the handle, on the buttstock. All I have to do is load a bolt. After it's caught, they run a flat base on their knock. So all we have to do is load it in any configuration with uh, any vein down you want. They run all three of theirs the same color because it doesn't matter what configuration you have it in. Uh, the normal good way to load these is with your palm and thumb up and fingers up. Push it all the way back until it engages and touches on the back of the string. This is their safety mechanism. Safety's on. It's on fire. So we're going to have it on safe right now. It's got a, a two-stage trigger. It's a match-grade trigger, so it is unlike anything on the market as well. It feels like a true match grade rifle trigger. So we're gonna engage this and shoot the shot. It's about as loud as the 22, which most crossbows are. That's what we kind of joke around about, uh, but it's shooting 400 feet per second. The scope has a duplex on it that it allows you to be able to side in depending on the speed of your bolt after you've actually done range time with it and you can dial this in so that you'll have your whole entire sight system integrated out to 100 yards. Uh, so each uh, duplex will allow that to happen. It's also lit in either green or red, depending on what you prefer. Um, one of the cool features of this, that's unlike anyone else on the industry, this is the quick disconnect or the quick takedown. So it's got this little feature right here. Pull that down, run your stirrup forward and then just to cheat a little bit all i'm gonna do is put my feet on it get it started and it'll slip right off it does not affect the accuracy you don't have to unstring the bow you can store it in the case that it comes with it's got backpack straps on it it'll do everything you want this also has the string dampeners all on the the bow it's got the string stops it's got the integrated uh dampeners on the limbs it's got the runoff uh, as well when you come off the string so it catches all that noise as much as it can for crossbows and goes from there and to install it again it's pretty simple all you got to do is line the string make sure the string's back on the top of the rail push it down lock it in and it's ready to go same accuracy as you had the shot before so we have this at our battleground location if you're interested in uh, hunting with a crossbow or shooting them recreationally uh, you can come down you can try this one out uh, this is a going to be a game changer for them. I'd imagine in the next few years, they're going to start integrating it, this into multiple crossbows. It's so much safer, so much less to deal with. 
and uh, so much easier uh, to cock the crossbow and then they won't matter what poundage you run, it will attach and run faster and cock faster than just about any string cocking aid that there is on the market. Again, this is Joe at archeryworld.net and you can come down and check us out.